and welcome to our mini lesson all about Thanksgiving. But what is Thanksgiving? Well, Thanksgiving is an American celebration and tradition that they've had for many, many years. In September in 1620, a group of people left England on a ship called the Mayflower in search of better land. They were on rough seas for months and many people couldn't survive the tricky travel. But after a long time they landed in a place called Plymouth in America. But being winter, the conditions were terrible and they weren't cut out for what they had to do. Luckily, some of the kind native people came and helped them. They taught them to grow crops, helped them build things, taught them all about their new land that they were on. So, in November in 1621, a year later after they had left, they decided because the crops had grown and life was so much better, they had to celebrate. And who better to invite to their party than the Native Americans that helped them? They had a feast. It was so much fun, it lasted for three days. So after all that, this tradition has carried on every single year on the third Thursday of November up until this day. So, what a lovely tradition to carry on. Friends and family gather together and they speak about what they're thankful for and who they're thankful for. Even though it's an American celebration, do you think we should keep it just to America? I don't think so. I feel that we should share this celebration around the whole world. Why can't everyone show gratitude and thanks for the people they love? That's why we're going to do this next activity. Okay, I want you to stop and have a think now about someone who you love, someone who you are really thankful for and you want to show your thanks to them. Have a think now. I've got mine. Now what I want you to do in your class is have a bit of a chat about all the things that you're thankful for. So what does that person do to make you feel loved? What makes them special? What do they do for you that no one else does? Have a talk now. Okay, with all those ideas that you have used, you are going to write a gratitude poem. So gratitude is you're showing thanks and you want to really show that person that you are thankful for them. Here's an example of one that I wrote for my mom. To my mother dear, my thanks is for your care. You make me feel special in all you do. So here I show my gratitude to you. So kind and caring, loving and sharing, I would ask for no other to be my mother. So once you have written your gratitude poem, you need to present it nicely, don't you? Now, in the Northern Hemisphere, where America is, in November it's autumn, or they call it fall. So all of the leaves are beautiful orange colors and they're falling down to the ground from the trees. Even if it's not autumn in your part of the world, I thought it would be nice to display your gratitude poem on an autumnal leaf. But that might be a bit tricky, so here's a way that we're going to do it. You need to get a leaf and you need to put it underneath a piece of paper. Getting a crayon, choose an autumnal colour. With your leaf underneath the paper, you're going to rub your crayon on top. Once you've done that, you should get an outline of a leaf. Then, using a nice coloured pen, you can write your gratitude poem on top of that. Cut it out in the shape of the leaf, and there you have it. Your gratitude poem looking lovely. And I bet you the person will be really grateful towards you as well, that you have shown that you love them and you're thankful for them. So, have fun guys, and of course, send me some photos of any poems that you've come up with. I'd love to see them. Bye!